Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. One. Lift off. All seven engines are full thrust. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos share a bunch of things in common. They both have over a billion dollars. They are both among the richest people on earth. They are both titans of the tech industry and they are both heavily investing in private companies on space missions. But their dreams from these missions are quite different. While Musk wants to colonize Mars and he started SpaceX with this mission, Bezos wants to shift heavy industry off the planet onto floating space platforms in order to preserve Earth. which is humanity's blue origin and hence the name of his company but in the short term they are straight up competitors the world's two richest men are pitted against each other in a commercial space race vying to fly bigger and more powerful rockets they both want to populate the skies with more satellites run private space stations and transport people regularly to the moon and today jeff bezos came one huge step closer to this goal Blue Origin has blasted its first new flagship rocket into orbit. The new Glenn rocket launched from Florida's space station. It lifted off for the first time and successfully put the company's test satellite into orbit. This was a crucial test which determined whether they were actually capable of challenging SpaceX's iron-clad grip on the launch market. In fact, this drew praise from Elon Musk himself as well. This comes after almost a decade of development and after the launch being called off a bunch of times. New Glenn has about the same carrying capacity as SpaceX Falcon Heavy and it's meant to shuttle cargo to space on the reusable launch platform. This in fact includes satellites for Blue Origin's rival to SpaceX Starlink, which can provide high-speed internet service literally anywhere on the planet. The first of these project Kuiper satellites are in fact expected to launch into low earth orbit soon and they will interestingly go on board SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket before New Glenn takes over. This is of course new for Blue Origin while SpaceX dominates the commercial space industry. They launched their rockets 134 times last year. Also Blue Origin failed to land the New Glenn's main booster onto a platform in the Atlantic Ocean. which is something SpaceX can easily do now. They had hoped the booster would be reusable for future launches, but after about 20 minutes of flight, the company confirmed it had lost the engine. However, today's main aim was getting into orbit which they did successfully. New Glenn as a rocket is more powerful than the rocket SpaceX uses most commonly which is Falcon 9. It can also carry more satellites. But SpaceX's new gen rocket called Starship is all the more powerful. But either way is the race though not equal has officially begun now. Experts say a successful new Glenn rocket will create real competition between the two companies and drive down the cost of space operations. While governments across the world have spent billions on space missions, but United States NASA is increasingly now relying on contracts to private companies to provide space services. SpaceX has already got billions of dollars worth of space contracts and Blue Origin may soon prove to be a second option. Hope you liked this video for more such content. Keep watching Mint.